open up on seven. Move it out, Shiv. Oh, oh yeah. Hero, huh? Identifying prisoner 117. Shiv, Helix. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits in the universe. Places that would make your vaults rattle. The eternity pits of Zord Doom. The iron holds in your balance. <laughs> Greetings, new fish. I'm... Captain Quark. I... I don't believe it. You're here. I used to dream of being arrested by you. Now get out of here. I was talking to you, Zed. Yes, Captain. So, new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt, solitary Bill. I'm a huge fan. I even pre-ordered the new Ratchet and Clank Hollow game. The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that Lombax. Oh, you must mean the Hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the Hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag shipped to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on the Hollow film based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Hey, Grim, you're here. I I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that bolt crank. Does that ship look mag-lifted to you? Get on that bolt crank, come on! Look at this thing. Avionics fried, CPU fried, even the gosh darn gravity coils fried! Okay, let's see if these new Versa bulbs work. Look up, do you see something flashing? Yep, left side looks good. It's a miracle. On to the afterburner. Lower left afterburner light checks out. This thing might just be space worthy after all. One more to the right. Lower right afterburner works. So, are we good? Yep, we're good. The news says the tryouts are being held at the fairgrounds. Show them what you got, kid. Ratchet began his adventure, hoping to become a galactic ranger. Rise and shine, Kizzle Plateau. It's 8 a.m. and it's gonna be a hot one today. Our first story is a sad one, folks. Last night at approximately 8.13, <laughs> Planet Tenenu held what appears to be a Class 7 supernova. President
Ratchet bashed his enemies using his trusty Omni Wrench. Yes! <laughs> In order to best his foes, Ratchet used the warrior's time-honored tradition of jumping. Ratchet knew he faced mortal peril. Should he find himself on the verge of death, he'd need to find nanotech to heal. <laughs> I used that stuff after a bank robbery once. It healed like three out of five gunshot wounds. displayed a flagrant disregard for public property. Look at him smashing crates. <laughs> the hubris. Maybe he was just saving up bolts so he could buy a new weapon to protect the galaxy with. Hey, who's telling the story here? <laughs> Galaxy is a perilous place, as evidenced by the large amounts of ammunition left sitting around in crates. Spice things up. We've armed these dummies with Gadgetron flamethrowers. Our lawyers are totally cool. Good job, recruits. You may just be the next Galactic Ranger. Head to the final challenge. Come on, Ratchet. You can do this. It's time for the final challenge. To survive a brutal onslaught of enemies, and you just might be our next Galactic Ranger. Or Another one. To Whoa, looks like some angry toads. Impressive. 
Could we be looking at Solana's next Galactic Ranger? Excellent job, Cadet. Come see me after the show. Huh. Huh. That wasn't so bad. Helpless defect knew that his best chance for survival lay with the facility's ventilation system. If he could just run to the vent, he might just make it out of there alive. I know you will find the defect, Victor. You never disappoint. Feeble Defect knew that if he were to survive, he would have to throw a bomb at whatever lay in his path. The young Defect spotted a spring bot ahead of him. He knew that with this handy device in his arsenal, he could now defeat the deadliest of forces, gravity. The hopeless Defect had to throw a spring bot. But where? And how? <laughs> Piece of scrap! Piece of scrap! Get back here and let's settle this! Warbot to Warbot! Oh no! Water! Suddenly, the defect spotted a power bot. This device could power up a variety of machines, but where should he throw it? <laughs> You're like, really good at adding drama, man. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my penchant for storytelling. What seems to be the problem, Victor? You won't get away from me, Chairman. I've got him right where I want him. Run from me! Not that brute again. Get back here, you miserable defect! Try 
try out running this! I'm gonna rip you apart, sprocket by sprocket! Water! Ah! A million thoughts race through Ratchet's head. Could he repair this diminutive war box? Would it be the key to the adventure he craved? Did he leave the proto-engine on in the garage? The answer to all these questions was yes. All right, hang on. I'll get us back to the garage. Large gaps were child's play to Ratchet. All he would need to get across is a trusty swing shot and a little bravado. Fortunately for our furry hero, a conveniently placed crate provided Ratchet with a combustor. Nice! A combustor! Ratchet basked in the freedom of being able to switch weapons whenever he felt like it. Perhaps you could shoot some. Impressive shooting. Nice work. Bark, what are they doing here? I have information in my data banks that poses a threat to Chairman Drek. He must have tracked my position to your planet so he could get it back. Ratchet was in a bad way, hurt, confused, and alone. He scoured the Kizzle Plateau for signs of nanotech. Ratchet had to think fast. Perhaps the hookshot would solve his current conundrum. Grim, listen to me. I want you to lock the garage doors and then head down into the shelter. I'll be there as soon as I can. Copy that, Ratchet. Huh? Oh boy, out of ammo. Known as the Dropship of Death. Great. 